Hey everyone, this is Simply Syrup coming to you with another video from our Medieval Dynasty series where we're aiming to get the most out of your dynasty. And aiming is going to be the focus of this video because today we are going to be talking about hunting. Yes, every sportsman's favorite pastime in Medieval Dynasty, hunting. A vital necessity in the early game, hunting will be your main source of food and can even make you a little coin. But the difference between a master trapper and a starving syrup I'm so cold, I'm so hungry, I'm so afraid, can be subtle. I've got lots of good information to share today like all of the different animals and where to find them, the many different weapons with their effects, the hunting skill tree, and helpful tips to make you a master hunter. As always, timestamps will be available for your convenience in the video description. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We will be posting more Medieval Dynasty videos soon that you won't want to miss. Before I take up any more of your time, let's get into it. The most important understanding that a great hunter must come to know is the animals. An accomplished man of the woods will enter the mind of the beast, see what they see, and feel what they feel. In Medieval Dynasty, there are currently 10 huntable animals, not including fish or birds. We're going to sort these animals by their aggression levels. The passive animals, or animals that can't attack, are easy and safe prey for an unexperienced hunter. These animals include the rabbit, a quick and agile creature that can be found all throughout the valley. This should be easy game for any hunter, and a successful rabbit skin will provide two fur and one to two meat. The deer, an extremely elusive animal with low health. Deer can be found in herds of three to four in heavily wooded areas. A deer will provide three leather and 15 to 18 meat. The moose, a slow but hardy creature. Moose have lots of health and can run far even while critically injured. These animals also live in herds with a tendency to have one stag. A moose kill will give 5 leather and 20 to 22 meat. Next up on the list we have the skittish animals, or animals that will only attack when provoked. You should use caution when approaching these animals and only attack if you have health to spare. The three skittish animals are the fox, a small and elusive creature. Foxes can be found all throughout the valley. Be careful with these creatures though. They're tougher than they look. A successful fox skin will provide three fur and four meat. The badger, which is also small in stature, packs a big punch. Badgers can be found in heavily wooded areas, either alone or in pairs. A badger kill will give three fur and four meat. And the lynx. The lynx is probably the scariest of the three skittish animals and is a worthy foe for all but the most experienced hunters. While dangerous, the lynx does have low health and can be downed easily with good weapons. A successful lynx kill will provide two fur and eight meat. The last animals we wanted to showcase today are the aggressive animals. These brutes will maul you for fun if you get too close, so keep your distance or get ready for a fight. The aggressive animals include The wolf, which has a large awareness radius and hunts in a pack. These animals can be lying in wait for you anywhere in the valley, so keep your eyes peeled. A successful wolf kill will provide 2 fur and 12 meat. The boar the boar is a simple-minded but formidable creature that can be found all throughout the valley. The boar's awareness radius is quite large, but smaller than that of the wolves. A successful boar skin will provide three leather and eight meat. The wise scent. These behemoths are a terrifying sight and have a massive amount of health. Their headbutts do an incredible amount of damage and they should be feared by the bravest of hunters. Luckily, the wise sense awareness radius is small, so you will be fine if you keep your distance. A successful wise scent kill will provide 7 leather and 25 meat. And finally, the bear. The bear is the most feared creature in the game. 
The bear is quick, has tons of health, and the strongest attack of any creature. Bears tend to hang out around mines and should absolutely be avoided by ill-equipped hunters. A successful bear skin will provide 10 fur and 25 meat. The next topic I wanted to discuss today is the different weapons that can be used to hunt with in Medieval Dynasty. Truthfully, you can use any tool in the game to deal damage, but we are just going to talk about the weapons that are actually used in hunting scenarios. A good hunter should always have two different weapons at the ready. One weapon that can deal damage from distance, and one weapon that can be used in close combat if needed. All wildlife encounters should be initiated with the ranged weapon, so we will talk about those first. The simplest ranged weapon that can be used in Medieval Dynasty is the Throwing Stone. This weapon is most effective versus small game like rabbits. Four throwing stones can be crafted from one stone at the smithy. Each throwing stone will do a measly 2.5 damage. Next up, we have the spear, which comes in five different forms. The spear is an interesting armament because it can be used as both a long range and close ranged weapon. The five tiers of spear, wood, stone, copper, bronze, and iron, each have their own damage and durability levels which are shown on the side of the screen. The basic wooden spear will be a great weapon to use in the early game because of its easy crafting requirement of just one log. Unfortunately, the wooden spear has incredibly low durability. The durability level for a spear is incredibly important because only a well-placed shot with a spear that has high durability will have the chance of sticking into the prey. Remember, the spear is a long range weapon and can be fired by holding down the right mouse button before left clicking. While spears are moderately useful, an aspiring hunter should be looking to acquire a bow as soon as possible. The bow is my favorite weapon in the game and probably the most fun to use. The bow comes in three separate forms, which we're about to go over. Just remember, the damage output can change depending on the arrows you are using. Also worth noting, the bow, unlike the crossbow, requires stamina to aim with. So be prepared to take your first shot very quickly. The first type of bow is simply called the bow and is very lackluster compared to its two counterparts. To make the bow, all you need is one log and one linen thread. The bow will deal 35 damage and has a durability of 100. Remember that all of the bows in the game also have different accuracy and power ratings. You will have to fire this simple bow higher than its two counterparts to make a clean shot. Next up, we have the recurve bow, which is my personal favorite. I believe the recurve bow perfectly walks the line of powerful and useful. The recurve bow generally results in my best hunts. The recurve bow can be created with one log, four linen thread, and three leather. You can fire the recurve bow more times than any other bow in the game with a durability of 250. The damage output is around 45. The final bow we are going to discuss today is the long bow. The longbow is incredibly powerful and accurate, and is best suited to take down big game. The longbow is the second most powerful weapon in Medieval Dynasty, dealing a whopping 55 damage. This bow is also incredibly durable, but not quite as durable as the recurve bow, with a durability score of 200. You can easily craft a longbow from one log, three linen thread, and one leather. And with the completion of the bows, we will also be completing part one of this video guide today. Remember to tune in to part two, where we're going to be finishing up with all of the weapons in Medieval Dynasty, and we will also be discussing the hunting skill tree, and then giving out helpful tips to maximize your hunt. I really hope you enjoyed the video today and found some of the information useful. This video was a little bit difficult to create, so please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Also, check the link in the description to the Simply Syrup Twitch channel, where we're working every day to build the biggest and best village that Medieval Dynasty has to offer.
I very much appreciate anyone who has made it this far into the video. I wish you all a fantastic evening until next time. This is Simply Syrup signing off.